Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be going over the voting app for the Nimic 2.0 supply curve. Begin by navigating to nimic.com forward slash vote or by simply clicking the first link in the description. From here, you'll decide whether you think the NIM supply growth curve should be adjusted. If you'd like to read more information, you can simply click here, head back here, and then simply click yes or no. I'll be going with yes. When you submit your vote, you'll be sending 0 0.00001 of a NIM, or known as one Luna, and every NIM within your address at the end of the voting period equals one vote. From here, I'm just going to click vote. Something important is that you can't vote with funds held within an exchange or third-party wallets, and this is because they don't support custom messages within transactions, which is what's needed for the vote to be recorded on the blockchain. From here, I'll now be choosing my address. So if I choose this address, this will be equal to 50,000 votes because there's 50,000 NIM, but it won't be using this NIM. So if I wanted to also vote with this NIM, I would need to vote again, but select this address or have all my NIM within the same address. So keep that in mind. I'll be clicking this one. We'll need to enter my password real quick. And something to, to note is that what counts is the balance within your address when the snapshot of the blockchain is taken at the end of the voting period. So if I were to remove my NIM from my address before the voting period finishes, then I would, I would basically get zero votes. Be sure to follow us on our social medias for announcements of any unexpected changes to this timeline. And thank you for sharing your vote. I'll see you in the next one.